Start out Pilates. Tuesday Pilates. Okay, let's stand up. <sighs> Get warmed a little bit. So you're just going to breathe into that right arm and right round and over and across. And again, breathe in, lift it up. Exhale, across, a slight twist in the body as you do that. And again, breathe in and across. And then this time we breathe in and stay. And exhale, just extend to the side and stay there for a few breaths. See if you can get your breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Last breath. And open that one back out. Let's do the other arm. Breathing in. Exhale, take it across and round. Inhale, so it's like a giant circle with that arm. Exhale, across and round. Inhale and exhale. One more time, right round. Just getting that shoulder joint going. Exhale. Then staying up with the arm, inhale and exhale, extending to the side. Staying there, breathing. And if you want, you can really open that chest a little bit that way. Try not to arch into the lower back. Slight awareness by pulling in through the core of the body there. Two more breaths. And gently releasing out. And breathing in for both arms. Exhale, open and twist to the right. Inhale, bring the arms up, back to centre with the body. Exhale to the left. Inhale, centre and again right. Exhale. Inhale, and again left, exhale, inhale, opening those arms right behind and interlock the fingers behind the body, press the palms, straighten the arms and we're coming into a roll down, breathing in, exhale, tuck the chin, soften the knees, use your belly and roll them down, pull the arms away from the body and just stay there. Bend the knees a little bit here, let the head just gently move the head side to side and perhaps forward and back and just find a bit of looseness in that neck. And as you exhale, you slowly pull those arms away from the body a little bit more. Exhale. And you might have a go at straightening the legs a little bit more. Three more breaths. Then let the arms flop down to the floor and hang and then roll them back up. Roll yourself back up to standing. All the way up to standing. Taking that right leg forward now and just come into a lunge, breathing in. So you're arching back just a little bit there if you can and exhale, just flying forward with the arms. Then inhale and up. We're opening through that back, groin and hip, exhale. And again, inhale up. Now this time, open the arms and interlock those fingers again behind the back. Now flatten your back foot so you're on stable. Now you're going to bend forward in front, beside that knee and try and pull the arms away. Just staying there for a few breaths. Two more breaths. Then slowly bringing that right arm down to the floor, lift that back heel again and you're into a runner's lunge. And we're gonna open up our left arm. Staying in that for a moment. It's 
Take two more breaths. And lower the back knee, pop that right, left, right hand on the knee and open it out. And you can twist and look over the back shoulder. Two more breaths. Then change, bring that uh, right hand on the inside and open up your left arm. Look up. And staying in that kind of twist. And gently releasing back down. Now, just, I'm going to just take my socks off. Whoop. Coming back down. And we're going to step into a plank. So hands on either side of your legs and stepping into a plank. So into a plank, solid shoulders back and down. And lift up and come forward into plank. Stay there and someone else just come on. And lift up and back. And lift up into down the dog and back. And lift. So as you do that, lift really stretching out through those heels. Give them a good stretch through the back of the legs there and open the shoulders. Hi, Joan, come on. And back. And then come into the plank if you can. Now you can do this on your knees if you're not ready to be in the plank. Otherwise in the plank and knee to chest. So it's called mountain climb and we do alternate knees in. In, 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 four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Push back up into that downward dog. Have a little rest and come forward again into plank if you can manage. Now opposite knee to elbow, opposite opposite so it's across 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 squeeze that belly shoulders down slight grip with your fingers on the floor four four three three two two one one push back into that down dog and now see if you can step your other leg, your left leg forward. So we're here in our lunge again and come up. Back heel can be on or off the floor. Reach up those arms, breathing in. Lift the chest, look up a little. Exhale. Stretch forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, stretch forward. And again, inhale, lift. Now take those arms wide and behind your back. Interlock the fingers with a different finger on the top. Pull those arms straight. And then coming forward in beside that leg. And pull the arms up and stay there in this stretch. Flatten your back foot so you've got some stability. Breathing there. Two more breaths, really opening those shoulders. Then releasing the arms, bringing that right arm down. You can take the back heel off the ground again. And we open up our left arm into our runner's stretch. That's it. Good. Staying that, keep that knee bend at the front. Reaching into that top hand and lengthen through the chest. Two more. Then slowly lower the back knee, bring that hand onto the knee, the left hand, and open out so you roll onto the outside edge of that foot. 
And if you want, you can twist and look over the back shoulder. So we're opening out that right hip joint. You're also getting an opening through the left front thigh. And hip flexor. Two more breaths. And then gently come back, bring that left hand on the inside of the leg and open your right arm now. So I'm in a little bit more of a vertical. Yeah, I'm not in such a deep lunge here. Open up, lovely. Two more beautiful breaths. And bringing that hand down. Bring one hand on the other side. We're stepping back into our plank. Okay, so we're going to lift up. Now this time you're going to see if you can lift your right leg up. Whoops, I'm going to hit something. It doesn't have to be high. Then come forward, right leg, and you bring knee to chest. And up. And in. That's it. Three. Lift. Two. Lift. One. Now to the opposite elbow. So bring that right leg across to the opposite elbow, left elbow. And four. Lift. Three. Do this on your knees if it's too strong. And one. Lift and pop that knee down. Just that right knee now. Shoulders back and down. So extending that right arm and you've got that left leg lifted. That's good. Okay, elbow to knee. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze. Three more. Two. One. Now hold it out. Now you're taking slightly to the side and back. Slightly side and back. Four. Three. Two. One. Elbow to knee. Five. Lengthen. Four. Three. Two. One, hold slightly to the side, arm and leg, and centre. Side and centre. Three, two, one. Now shift that bottom foot and place the right hand down and now you're going to lift the left arm up. So you've got to have that left, this bottom leg, you've got to have a bit of stability by taking that foot back. All right, tap and lift that top leg. Tap, tap, you're working through your tummy, tap, that's it, six, five, four, three, two, now hold it up on one, now you bring that knee horizontal towards the chest and just tap the arm on the knee, take the arm up, take the leg back out, and tap, Knee in and out. Knee in. That's it. Trying to keep that knee high. Squeeze it up towards the chest. Six more. Five. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze and tap. Four. Three. Two. One, and releasing back down to the floor. You're on to all fours, coming back into that downward dog. Lifting up through the other leg now. We've got our left leg up. So now we're bringing knee to chest and come forward and back. Knee to chest and back. Remember, you can be on all fours if you need to. Three. 
two. One, now you take it to the opposite elbow, so across to the right elbow and up, across. An easier version is you just bring the knee in without coming into plank as well. Across, four, three, two, one, and slowly bring that knee to the floor. Shoulders, my top's getting a bit outrageous. Shoulders back and down, lifting that leg, right leg, left arm. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach, exhale. And four, reach, three, reach, two, one, hold it out, take it slightly wide to the side, bring it back, slightly wide and back, wide, that's it, three, two, one, and elbow to knee, five, reach, four, three, two, one, slightly to the side, five, arm and leg, four, keep them up, three, two, one, now you rotate onto your side, so you've got to shift that left foot back and open up that right arm, tap and lift that top leg, that right leg, tap, lift, lift, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you bring that elbow in and, I mean, the knee in and the hand taps the knee. Lift, squeeze that uh, leg up, squeeze it up. That's it, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, reach and gently coming right back down. Now onto all fours. So you can start, you can do this from all fours or I want or you come forward into a half plank. The uh, hands are just shoulder width apart and we're doing a little, uh, like a push up. So you draw up through your tummy, shoulders back. See if you can lower yourself all the way down and all the way up. Stretch back for a moment. Come forward and lower yourself again, keeping that body like a plank. Nice and solid and keep those elbows in close to the body. Down and back that's good just do a halfway one if it's too strong don't come all the way down let's try another three elbows in close to the body there honey so it's the back of the arm one bring those elbows in close hands are closer to the body so they're in here so it's a down like that and back just try one more so the elbows are in close and back and pull back that's it now come forward lower yourself down and come all the way onto your belly so come down and lower yourself all the way down relax those knees just wiggle out your bottom we're going to do something called it's like a cobra movement but I want your fingertips on the ground and your hands are quite wide like a spider fingers so slowly lift that head and lift up and pull, push up. So stretching the belly and exhale, come down. Inhale as you lift up, stretch and exhale as you come down. We're doing one more. Inhale as you come up. Now just bring the head centre 
turn it over the right shoulder, bring it back, turn it over the left, bring it back and come down. Just bring your chin or forehead onto your hands now, working through the legs. Okay, lifting that right leg off the ground, you're doing a single bottom kick and down. Left leg, lift, kick, extend and down. Right leg for two now, kick. Kick, lengthen and down, left. Kick, kick, lengthen and down, right. For three, one, two, three, lengthen and down. Left, lift, one, two, three, lengthen and down. Right for four, right. One, two, three, four, lengthen, left, lift. Keep the knee off the floor, two, three, four, lengthen and down. Right again for five. One, two, three, four, five. Reach and lower. Left. Keep those hips nice and steady. Draw in through the tummy. Three, two, one. Lengthen. For six now. Right leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Knee off the ground and then lower. Left leg. Six, five, Four, keep your shoulders down. Two, one, lengthen. Tummy switches on, lift that right leg again for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, reach and down. Left, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're doing another set on each side, eight on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, reach and down, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, reach and relaxing out, wiggle out that bottom for a moment, okay, just bringing the hands now, just onto the back of your head and you're going to reach and lift that left elbow and come down, now the right, so you twist a little bit as you lift and inhale, twist and open, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. It's quite strong, try not to push on your head, your hands are lightly resting on your head, lift, lift, again each side. And lift and coming down and gently releasing here for a moment. Just come into what I call the Sphinx, so we're here. All right, shoulders back and down. See if you can bend that uh, left foot and see if you can reach that left hand back. Now you push the foot into the hand. This is a bit like what we do in yoga. Tan will know this one. And now you see if you can lift that leg up and you'll get an amazing strength and stretch movement. Two more breaths. And releasing it down, popping it down. Big breath in and out. Wiggle out your bottom if you want, really squeezing into the lower back a bit on this stretch. Bend that right knee, see if you can reach back and reach to the foot. Don't worry if you can't, just hold the leg up. Then you, what you do to lift your body is you push the foot into the hand and it lifts your upper body off the ground. Then if you can, you try and take that right knee off the ground. But some, that I know that's very hard, so don't worry about doing that if it's too much. Three breaths. and releasing down and coming right back down okay rest that chin or forehead on the hands pull the shoulders back draw up through that tummy and right leg and lower left leg single legs for now right leg lift and down straight leg keeping the hips nice and steady so this area here stays nice and steady as you draw up through the tummy and just alternate. 
That's it, and again. And now you're going to extend both arms forward. So, same arm as leg, left arm, left leg, and down. Other side, inhale. Now as you lift, try not to lean to one side. Try and stay nice and centred and really reach into those fingers and really reach into those toes. That's it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, lower. And again, now we're going to do double. So left side, lift and lift and lower. Right side, lift and lift like a little pulse. Right, left again, lift, lift, right, lift, lift. Again, lift, right. Once again, try and stay centered with the body. Pulse, pulse, and again, pulse. Last one, pulse. And see if you can do double arm, double leg lift. And it's a swimming movement now. That's it. Breathing there. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and releasing down again. Just wiggling out that bottom. In fact, come up onto your forearms. So we're on our forearms, shoulders down. Lift your body off the ground and just go from side to side and this will be a nice alleviation movement for the lower back but it's also getting shoulder and core strength happening so we're going to make that a little stronger by coming right up onto um, into the full hover and side and you'll really feel that right through the core if it's too much you stay down on the knees side Six, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, and come down. Come down, right down now, chin or forehead on the hands, relaxing those shoulders. Same thing, you want to still activate that core and that pelvic floor. So try and draw them on now. Now right, left leg lift, take it wide, pop it down. Right leg lift, take it wide, pop it down. Now I'll just move away from the wall a bit. This is strong, you're going to try lifting both. Lift, bring them both in and lower. Left leg lift, wide, pop it down. Right leg lift, wide. Pop it down, both legs lift, squeeze in and down. Again, left leg lift, wide, pop it down. Right leg lift, wide, pop it down. Both legs lift, squeeze them right in together, heels touch and then lower. One more like this, lift, wide, down. Right leg lift, wide, down. Both legs lift, back together and down. Now we're doing doubles if you can. Lift both wide pop them down lift both bring them back in pop them down shoulders relaxed and down lift three more lift wide back in two lift wide down do singles if it's too strong last one very strong on that back back lift in and releasing out and just releasing out your butt, wobbling through. Bringing those hands back underneath your shoulders here or just below. Elbows are pulling into the body and push yourself up. Okay, now we are going to take the hands wide for wider push-ups. So now they're about as wide as your mat. So you can be on your knees and you're going to come down and all the way up. Just staying with that. Coming down and up, if you can. If not, you're on all fours, you're not in half plank. You come the hands closer and you just come down and up. Otherwise, you're lowering yourself all the way down. Elbows go out wide. So this is more of a chest push-up. The other one was a bit more of a tricep 
push up in front of the shoulder. Keep that body nice and solid, like a plank. Four. Three. Two. One, push up. And gently pull back. That's good. Tucking those toes, stretching out. Okay, pressing back up into downward dog. Press down through the heels, opening through the shoulders. Now take your feet wide and come forward into a plank. Open that left arm and down, right arm. Open, left. Once again, if it's too strong, you stay on, or on your knees. Open, open. Open. Again, two more each way. Lift, 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 and pop the knees down and just have a little rest. We're doing one more on our hands, probably getting a bit tired with the wrists. So you can start once again, you can be here on half plank and do the hips from side to side in a half plank. Or you can be in a full plank. Okay, it's quite strong. <clears throat> really working through that core. Four more, four, four. Three, three, two, two, one, one, and gently pop those knees down. And now we're going to walk so that we can sit onto our bum. That's it. Coming right onto your bottom. And come down onto your elbows. We'll start this exercise on our elbows. All right, drawing up through that pelvic floor, pulling through that lower tummy, and let's bring both knees in. I think you can all manage that. And just doing our single leg extensions, alternating to start. That's it. That's not too bad. Now, keep going with that, or those who want to try double extensions. It's very strong. Just be careful. Otherwise, try single legs. Five. Four. Inhale back. Exhale away. Three. Two. One. And coming up to sitting. That'll alleviate your neck just turning the head one way in fact we're going to do a little twist and this will be nice pop that left hand down grab hold or bring that right arm around and just do a gentle twist and turn the head as well body's quite upright here and slowly go the other way just a gentle twist And gently coming back. Okie doke. Now we're going to try and hold on to the legs, back of the legs, and see if you can come into a balance. So you bring the knees into chest, inhale, and exhale, take them away. Inhale, exhale. That's it. So that's relatively easy. Let's see if we can do it with no hands. Just a little way. Very strong. Exhale, inhale. Just a little with a knee bend here. If you want to work harder, you do straighten those legs out, but it's very strong. We'll try four more. Three. Two. One. Come in and open those thighs so you'll really feel that. 
Now, if you have got hand weights, it will make this exercise easier, believe it or not. So if you've got them, grab them. If not, you don't have to use them. So we're keeping our legs wide, feet, soles of the feet together. Doesn't have to, they don't have to be in close, just a nice kind of loose diamond. Okay, we did this one last week. So we're sitting up, inhale, exhale, we're going to do our roll down. So we tuck the tail, scoop the belly and roll all the way down to the floor. Take those arms right above the head for a moment and bring them all the way up. Inhale, look to your knees and exhale, roll up. Use that belly. Let's go again. Exhale down. Slowly down. Inhale, arms above head. Exhale. Rolling up. That's it. Now, if you want to work a little harder, instead of having the hands down here as you roll down, take them up there. And that makes it harder. Then you just extend them briefly. And the same thing on the way up. You try and keep the hands up a little bit higher than rather than down here. It's quite hard. Try two more. Rolling down. Out. Exhale up. Try not to do the jerk as you come up. Try and use that tummy. And as you can all go down very smoothly, which is fantastic. And the up is harder. So inhale, draw up that tummy. Use the breath as well. The exhaling breath helps. And coming back. So coming back to here. Okay, we're going to now scoop that belly just a little way down. And we're going to do our weights on either side. That's it. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Come up, sit up tall for a moment. I'm going to make it a little bit harder for those who can. As you come down, you can lift the feet off the ground <laughs> and side to side. Otherwise, just do the feet on the ground. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Come up, wide legs all the way down, rolling down. Exhale, rolling down. Arms above head. Let's take the arms out wide in a big circle. Then they come back and then you roll up. And again, let's do three of these. Exhale, sort of alleviates our hips, opens our shoulders with our weights right round. Exhale up. Inhale, last one. Exhale, down. Arms right around. And up. And we're coming back for some more of those ones that we just did. So we'll start with these. Start with this. It's either here, with the hands on or off. Exhale. Inhale. Five. Four, three, two, one. Come up, just sit up for a moment and back into this one. Scoop down, either here with the feet on the floor or off the floor. Four, three, two, one. Come up. Pop those knees wide and we're rolling all the way down again and we're staying down. So rolling down, taking those arms up and bending the knees, taking the, the right foot straight up to the ceiling. See how you go with the weights up to the ceiling. If it gets too much, pop the hands down onto the ground. So we're flexing that right foot and single bottom push up five, four, Three, two, stay up on one. Lower that left leg to the knee, lift it up. Lower it down and lift. Three more. Three, two, hold it to the knee. Now hold that leg to the knee. Now take it out to the side of it and back. We'll turn this way so you can see. Side. Very hard with the arms up. Four. Three, you've got to try and stay steady. Two, one, and lower that butt to the ground. Swap the legs over. 
flex the left foot, lift up with the right leg and push up and down, push up, four, three, two, stay up on one, stay up, lower that right leg to the knee, straight leg, lift it back up and another four, lift, three, two, now hold it to the knee, hold it there, take it out wide a little bit and back, only a little bit, four, because you've got to stay steady through your core and your arms, two, one, rolling down, pop that feet down, take the weights down for a moment, and now you're going to take those arms, interlock your hands like this above your head, so they're straight out, now I really want you to squeeze those arms into the head so that you support your head. And you're doing, feet can be relaxed, hips width, and ab curl. Ab curl. Exhale. So honey, your hands, your arms have to squeeze your head. So it's, they're squeezing my head. So that you can really support the neck. The neck just comes up because you're squeezing your tummy and lifting that upper body. You're not lifting with your head, you're lifting with your belly. Squeeze. Exhale. Exhale. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and releasing those hands out, pop them onto the back of your head now. So now you've got the hands, elbows out wide. Okay, popping that left foot onto the right knee once again, and we're coming across the body. So right elbow to left knee, and down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keeping that other foot on the ground for now, just doing this upper body work with the rotation, five, four, exhale up, inhale down, three, two, one. Now same thing with the upper body, but you're lifting and lowering that right leg. If you can, if it's too much, just do the upper body or have a little rest, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and releasing down. Let's just leave that leg onto the knee, take hold of your weights again, take the arms straight up. Flex that right foot. Now we're going to take that left leg up. We're going to do the same sequence we did a moment ago. Bottom push-ups for five and down. Four. Three. Two. Stay up on one. Stay up. Lower that left leg to the knee and lift it back up. Straight leg. Lower and lift. That's it. Staying off the ground with your butt. Three more. Two. Now keep that leg down at the knee, take it out to the side a little bit and back. Side, so you've got to keep the right leg steady. Three, that's hard, two, one, and come down. Swap the legs. So you've got right leg up, left leg, and bottom lifts. Push up and down. Five, four, three, Two, stay up on one, lower that top leg to the knee and lift, straight leg lower and lift, three, two, keep it down at the knee, take it to the side and back, just a little bit side, keep that left hip steady, left knee, three, two, one, come down. Beautiful. Big breath in and out. Keeping the weights in your hand now. Keeping the legs can be just hips width apart. Breathing in. Exhale. Drawing up through that tummy and pelvic floor. 
exhale, contract to the left, stay up to the right, left, right. So we're pulsing side to side, side. Now if you find that you're straining in your neck, please just put one hand on the back of your head so you don't strain. Keep that contraction through the belly. Two, two, one, one. Just come down for a little moment. Those who want to work stronger, you're coming up to tabletop with the legs. We're doing exactly the same thing again. And side, side. It's almost easier here. So take those legs out lower. Side, side, side. Let the breath come out. We'll probably come out in a bit of a staccato. Four, three, two, one. And hug those knees. Pop the hands back down without the weights. Bring those hands onto the back of the head once again. Okay, starting out, lower backs on the ground. Hands are on the back of the head, extending one leg and the piston movement with the legs. So, that's it. Keep that lower back down and keep the back of the ribs down. Not too fast. Now upper body off the ground if you want and we're going opposite elbow to knee. Opposite, opposite. Once again, that breath might be a staccato. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, and come down. Oh, you really feel your belly there. That's good. Okay, we'll do one more with the belly before we go onto our side. So let's just start with the legs in, in tabletop, lower back on the ground, legs to tabletop. Hands just down by your side for this one. Single toe tap, right toe tap and lift, left toe tap and tap. Now this is quite strong in itself. Keep that lower back down, keep that nice long feeling in the back of your neck. Tap, tap, that's it, tap, tap, and again, tap. Now if you want, you can try double toe taps if it's not too strong, tap. Otherwise, stick with the singles, five, four, really work that tummy, three, pelvic floor lifted if you can, two, and one, just hug those knees in for a moment. Now we're going to take it into the next level. So we're here and we do our double toe tap, lift and bottom lift. Double toe tap and bum lift. That's it. So you get a little bit of momentum with those legs lifting. Press into your hands to lift your butt up. Really work that lower belly. Five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Rolling right over onto your side. Okay, we did this one last week. We're going to bring that left elbow, so I'm on my left side. Left side if you can, if not remember which side you've done. So we're gonna bring the right hand onto the head, knees are bent, and this left arm, so you can use it to push up. So you're gonna side contract and down, contract side waist. That's it. Exhale up, inhale down. Now harder again is the both feet are off the ground, if you want to. Harder again is the knees are off the ground as well. Exhale. Six more. Five. Four. 
three, two, one. Now lying right down on that underside arm. And we're just going to extend the bottom leg. Now here's where you can use your weight again if you want to by resting it on that leg and lift and lower that bottom leg with the weight optional. Just makes it a bit stronger. Make sure your head's supported. I'm quite comfortable on my arm. But if you need to, you can pop a pillow between your arm and your head or just use a pillow under your head instead of the arm. Four, three, two. Now hold the leg up, turn the toes up to the ceiling and flex the foot. Now this movement is a little circle, just a little circle in one direction with that leg, that bottom leg, that left leg. Six, five, four, three, two. And change the direction of the circle for ten, nine, eight. Drawing in through the tummy, five, four, three, two, one. Pop the leg down and extend the top leg out. Now you're gonna leave the top leg steady, lower and lift the bottom leg. That's it, you can take the top hand off the ground if you want to make it a bit stronger. Lift, lift. You should feel that bottom leg. Five, four, three, two. Now hold them together. Bend those heels to the butt. Extend them out. Lower them both. Lift them both. Heels to butt. Extend them out. Lower them both. Lift. Heels to butt. Try not to lean forward as you do that. Try and stay nice and set it steady through the core. Lift. Keep those. That stability. That's it. And five, heels, extend and lower. Four, heels, great for this top waist. Two, one more, I think I might have miscounted you anyway. One more, lift and releasing it down to the floor. Beautiful, rolling right back onto your back. And we're doing another set. Just briefly, we started a bit late today, so we're going to continue for a bit more. So this time, tucking your hands under your butt and taking your legs straight up to the ceiling. So you've got a bit of a lift, your palms are down, you're kind of sitting on your thumbs. So now we're gonna do a single leg lower. So straight leg, right leg lower, and lift, left leg. Keep that lower back down, keep those shoulders and rib cage down. So this is an extension of the exercise we did previously where we toe tapped. So you can go back to the toe tapping if this is too strong, because we're going to try some double leg lowers now. Try doubles, try double lower and lift. Only if it's not hurting your back. If it's too strong, then you need to stop, go back to the, the bent knee exercise, toe taps or single legs. So just try another four, lift three lift it's a bit easy with the thumbs under your butt we've alleviated a bit one lift hug those knees just briefly then we're taking them back up again for our bottom lift with the lower leg lower so you lower the legs lift it up and bum lift lower the legs lift Lift the butt. That's it. And lift. Five. Lift. Four. Lift. Three. Lift. Two. Lift. One. Lift and releasing those legs to the ground. Rolling onto your right side with that for our side push-ups to begin with. So we've got this happening. We're here, knees bent, the head's on the ground, the right arm's forward, left arm's on the back of your head. So you're doing that little side crunch. That's it. 
Harder again, feet off the ground. Harder again, both legs off the ground. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now you lower and right onto that underside arm and we're straightening our bottom leg. Once again, weight is optional on that underside bottom leg as you lift and lower that bottom leg. Lift. I'm losing my pants. Lift. <laughs> lift. 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 Six. Five. That's about four. Three. Two. Hold it up, turn the foot up to the ceiling with the flex foot. Little circles with that bottom leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Try and keep this standing left leg quite steady. And one, change directions. Ten, nine, eight. Drawing in through that tummy and core of the body. Five, four, Three, two, one. Lower it down, rolling right over onto the side. And lift that top leg. Now lift the bottom leg up and down. That's it. Lift, lift, lift. Keep drawing in through the whole core of the body here. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, holding the legs up, heels to bottom, in, out and lower. Lift it up, heels to bottom, extend and down. Lift, heels to bottom, extend and down. Six, heels, extend, lower. Five, heels, extend, lower. Four. Three, two, one, and releasing down to the ground. Well done. Let's roll right onto our back for a couple of stretches. So we're going to take that right underside, that was our leg that we just worked. Let's take it into a hamstring stretch first and really elongate the spine by keeping that neck nice and long shoulders down and elongate through the back and pull the tailbone down a bit straighten the left leg if you want we're going to take this leg out to the side so take it out wide hold on to it however you can manage with that right hand and just take it out to the side keeping the left hip down Squeeze and press down with that left thigh. Bringing it back up. Now this one, you might like this one. I'll do it this way so you can see. Now you can do it two ways. Take your left hand out and grab, sorry, right arm out and grab the left leg. Now you can just grab the knee with the knee bent and twist with the knee bent or if you're flexible enough you can take it with the legs straight and right over into a great twist, very strong. And you keep pressing this right hip downward to really get a good stretch. Two, two more breaths. Now you've got to squeeze your belly to lift right back up. Pull that leg in for a moment and releasing it down to the ground. Swap sides. Take that left leg up into a hamstring stretch first. Breathing into that and really get that nice broad feeling at the back of the body. And taking that leg out to the side, keeping that right hip down. Bring 
bringing it back up. Either bend the knee or but swap arms. Right hand on the leg now, left arm out to the side and take it across. You can have the knee bent or straight. See where you get to. You can turn the head over the opposite, the left shoulder if you want. And slowly coming up, pull it in and release and flop to the floor. Just whew, feet flopped, <sighs> completely flopped. Just give the body a moment, a beautiful moment. Stay there for a bit longer if you'd like to, otherwise we'll get, gently roll up to sitting and finishing there.